Good evening, everyone. City leaders say it's going to be the next big development project in Des Moines. An old business park is being demolished on prime riverfront property next to the Botanical Center. Cynthia Fodor is there live with this KCCI exclusive. This entire area, Stacy and Kevin, right across the river from Wells Fargo Arena, is about to be transformed. This is how the River Hills Business Park looked not too long ago. Under the Golden Dome of the Capitol, not such a pretty sight. Offices and cement block warehouses built in the 70s as one of Des Moines' first urban renewal projects. Now the park has reached the end of its useful life and the buildings will soon be gone, except for a few privately owned businesses nearby that hope to stay. Kelly Weingarten walks by every day. I'm excited to see if there's housing. I I'd love to find out what it's going for and possibly settle down right here. The original Riverwalk master plan included this area for high end luxury housing. And I've learned Hubbell Realty is moving forward with plans for a residential development here. It's, it's, it's going to be the next big area. Hubble did, Hubble's not pursuing this so that they can sit on it and wait five years and do something. I know them. They're going to be eager to get some product out of the ground. They've been having great success with their current locations. Assistant City uh, Manager Matt Anderson the says there is still such a demand for downtown housing that Hubble's newest townhomes were leased in no time. Fast as we can build them, they lease up. Anderson sees this quiet location between the pedestrian bridge and the East Village with a picture perfect view of the city skyline as a great neighborhood. Waiting to happen. The nice thing about it is it's kind of tucked away in its own little neighborhood. You've got the the kind of the steep hillside that rises to the east and the river to the to the west, and it creates a nice little pocket of, of development there. So just imagine this as your view outside of your front door. It is still very early in the planning stages here, and city leaders say, though, they expect this will move quickly, and they could break ground as soon as next spring. Stacy, Cynthia Fodor live in downtown Des Moines. Thanks, Cynthia.